We've got new material coming in uh, from Tehran. As you know, yesterday was the 10th anniversary of a student uprising, and we saw more activity out of uh, Tehran as we led into last night. And it appears that we do now have new video of some of those protests. Reza, what have you got? Lots of new pictures and video coming in uh, over the morning. We're going to show you some of the best ones. This first one we're going to show you gives you a glimpse of what appears to be a change of strategy on the part of the besieged. The besieged, of course, the voluntary yep. militia that wears street clothes. They've come under a lot of criticism for wearing street clothes. Eyewitnesses on the ground telling us now they're wearing brand new uh, uniform. And you can see these are people that have street clothes on. They appear to be besieged, but now they're wearing camouflage vests. And what you're about to see is a strategy that they use. They're outnumbered by the protesters, so they do surprise attacks like this. Look at that. All of a sudden, they charge what appears to be a gathering on the sidewalk. Let's see if we can run that one more time, Talia. And this is what we saw when we were on the ground over there. All of a sudden, surprise attacks to intimidate people. What happens after that, they usually disperse to other areas. And if we come to Azadeh over here, we see another intersection where people have gathered, uh, burning dumpsters. At times, eyewitnesses told us that the people were caught by security forces. We're going to show you uh, what could be for some, some graphic videos, so we forewarn people. Uh, this may be uh, disturbing to some. This is what happens when a protester is caught by a security force. There we go. This is someone I spoke to this morning. He said he went to the help of some women who were being beaten up by security forces, and this was the aftermath. They said about a half a dozen people caught him and they started beating him uh, with batons and they wouldn't let him go. And again, that's what happened when he went to the rescue of some women. And he told us a lot of women were out there in these protests. And that's uh, something we've seen right from the beginning of these protests a month ago after the election. We saw a very large presence of women. A and man, have they been fearless. From the beginning, they were on the forefront. In fact, of I don't this, know if it's here, movement. but I, I was looking at the, the Wall Street Journal, uh, the cover of the Wall Street Journal this it's morning. There's a picture so of a woman uh, whose face is half covered. You can see with, her eyes. With, with the victory with the victory side. even when I was there yeah whenever you had these types of surges that we just showed you on the video it was the women who stayed put yeah they, did, they didn't run away Remarkable. It was the men who ran away and uh, who who knows when uh, we're gonna see another protest but there you see some pictures of the women but if we see protest again uh, you can be sure that they're gonna be out there people are pointing to when uh, here we have the picture here, yeah, on the this Wall is Street. the let me just show I wanted to show you but I mean this is the Wall Street Journal this is a newspaper yeah. that's devoted to business usually right on the front cover there uh, this woman with the victory sign covered up but you can just see the passion in her eyes these are the types of people who knew that they were gonna be confronted yeah. with members of the besieged and security forces and they went out uh, anyway so some courageous just people uh, risking a lot to go out there uh, to try to convince the government that we're not uh, going anywhere. They're saying the next time people are going to come out to the streets could be when President Ahmadinejad is going to be sworn in. Right. Late July, possibly August. Look for more women to be out there in All the right. protest. You and your team continue to stay on. This is the uh, Iran desk at CNN. Uh, you may not be seeing news reports on it, but they are constantly monitoring this information, clearing it, vetting it, finding out, corroborating it, and then we'll bring it to you. Thanks, Rez. I appreciate that.